Hello and welcome to the Navy Blue Corner. I'm Ian, joined as always by my good mate Lockie and we are one step closer to the start of the AFL season and one week away from our official 2024 season preview episode. But this week we thought we'd have one last competitive bout between Lockie and myself because those that listened last week will know that we (laughs) held a live draft where we tried to build the best 22 possible out of the best players that we have ever seen play Now, Lockie, the results are in Mm -hmm. from last week's challenge. Any guesses as to who maybe came away with the win in that one? It's funny because right after we finished recording, we both got so humble after being so aggressive. And we were like, actually, your team is good. I (laughs) I wish I did this, wish I did this. But I'm pretty sure I, I ended up catching that L. Yeah, unfortunately, you did. I finally got one on the board, which was was good to see. I really do think my picks of Steven Silvani maybe just got me over the line there. I know it was only the last year of his career, but were there a couple of people on Instagram that maybe didn't read it 100%? It's what I was banking (laughs) on, and it worked. But look, now it is time, as I said, that I finally got a win on the board after, honestly, Lockie, you wiped the floor with me last year. But it is is a new year. It's a new week. The scores are now level at one all in the Ian versus Lockie battle for Carlton supremacy. So let's take Mm -hmm. it up a notch and see who can come out on top this week as we play Guess the 22. Now, the rules are very, very simple. Lockie and I both have picked a famous Carlton game, hopefully a Carlton win, and the other player has to guess the (laughs) 22 players that played that day. Now, I know what you're all thinking with Lockie over here guessing, we could be here for hours with the amount of incorrect and awful answers that he will be throwing <laughs> out there. But never fear, we've Pretty got good. this sorted Pretty out good. because each player will only be allowed three incorrect guesses before their Savage. turn is over. That is three incorrect guesses that are allowed until it ends. And ultimately, the player with the most correct players guessed will win. So you don't have to even name them all. If the other player tanks, there you go. You've got <sighs> enough on the board. And look, Lockie, Scary. are you keen to get started? I really want to know how you're feeling. Are you nervous? Are you confident? How do oh. you feel about the Guess the 22 game? I'm very keen. As we shared last week, I was I was nervous going into the draft last week, but that was mm. subjective. Like, there was wrong answers, but there wasn't yeah. really any wrong answers. Today, it is, it's a lot more savage. So I'm even more nervous. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I am absolutely shitting myself. And the fun part about this game is that we are chatting before we went live and we kind of discovered that both of us don't want to be the person that goes first. We want to see what the other person does. We want to hear them name every Carlton player (laughs) that's ever existed so we can come go second and all of a sudden come away with the chocolates. So because of this, we've had to bring in a mediator once again. So to Mm -hmm. decide who will go first, we must once again... Head to the wheel. Now, whatever name the wheel lands on, they will have to guess first. So let me bring this. I'm not ready to guess. All of our visual listeners, if you're watching on YouTube, will see this wheel. If you're listening, um, wherever you get your podcast in the streaming form and you want to watch the wheel, want to watch the mayhem of this one, head over to our YouTube. Links will be in the show notes. But, Lockie, I guess here we go to see who will go first. Spin that wheel. It's going. It's Audio listeners away. can just judge by our reactions. <laughs> oh, God no, damn Lockie. it. Oh, oh, it's, oh, no, it's doing that thing again. Oh, I knew Oh, I knew it. Oh, it's oh, always Lockie. right on the edge. Gee, oh. There you okay. go. That the was incredible. guys will go first. That was incredible. So, Lockie will indeed have to was guess. Was the best two first. out of three? No, sorry, mate. Oh, I'm absolutely <laughs> <laughs> making you have to go first with that. And Ooh. look, this is... Much like the last week's game where it was the best we've ever seen, obviously I haven't gone ridiculous with this. I haven't selected a game from the 1950s that you don't even know the players and all of a sudden I give myself the easiest win ever. I've tried to make this somewhat fair, Uh, I will say. I've gone back to 2013. It is round 23 versus Port Adelaide, the last game of the regular season, one that you absolutely love. So this will be interesting to see if you'll be able to select these players. I'm so how how confident are you now that you know this game? 
I feel I feel happy because a, a whole bunch of faces just have jumped out at me. Um, so I feel good. Not confident yet, but mm. and I don't know what a good score is either. Like if I get ten, yeah. am I going to be happy with that? If you get them all, so. I almost don't get a go. I think that's potentially the go in this one. But Lockie, okay. who are you trying to select first? All right. I, I mean, yeah, like I said, a bunch of faces are popping out at me. Give me Mark Murphy had a ripper. He is there. <laughs> Unfortunately, Mark not Murphy there. Murphy is the first selection. I'm I'm picturing all the blokes that kick goals. So Bryce Gibbs popped up and kicked one. Is Bryce Gibbs there? He's on the half back. Big Brycey Gibbs. Gee, he started mm-hmm. absolutely well here. That yeah, is no, I'm big I'm cooking selections. I uh, kicked a bomb from outside fifty in this one. I think to put us in front. Big Tommy Bell. Oh, I like it. You've you've really rewatched the highlights of this one recently. Because... I really no, I haven't. <laughs> this is the thing as well. I want people to know that if they they think that we're casuals based on how we go on this, this mm. is this is off season content. Carlton is yeah. not on my daily mind right now. Like mm. Jared Waite. Jared Waite is he's there. He's there. So you will get a bit of a delay from me because I've also got to read through every single name on this no, team no, sheet no. and figure out where they are. But, gee, he's, this is a hot start so far. We appreciate no you. No incorrect answers. I don't see myself having a mistake in this one. Uh, give me Jeffy Garlett. Jeff Garlett was, yes, he's there in the forward pocket. This is and a time Betts, period you almost Betts know the too well. Uh, Betts, surprisingly, he's – look, he's in the team. I will let you know that. But he's actually – Mate, he's roving. Oh, he's in the guts. Oh, Eddie Betts is absolutely in the guts here. I don't know what. I forgot about the those nine clearances there, he had. Yeah, there's always those odd kind of positional placements when the team sheets do come out. Um, but that's what you got right there. All right. Shout out to a bloke that I picked in my team last week. Give me Zach Tui. Zach Tui is also there. And I tell you what, I'm starting to absolutely shit myself because <laughs> I'm running out. <laughs> I do not like this. And being the hot seat, I'm going to melt. I, I tell you what, there's going to be a chance where I forget any player that's ever existed. And I'm praying that happens to you, Lockie. I'm running out of the guys that I can like picture playing. I'm pretty mm. sure Andrew Walker was playing. A. Walker is on In a moment, the wing. I'm going to just be guessing players that I I know were playing that year, but not necessarily this game. Mm. So that's scary. Hopefully areas. they're all injured. That would be my ideal scenario. So I don't remember him in this game, but obviously he was pivotal in the elimination final. Mitch Robinson. He is there. He's on the bench. Okay. Mitch I don't remember Robinson. him in this game, but okay. That's good. Oh. <sighs> All right. See, again, I don't remember this guy playing, and I have a feeling he might not have played, but Chris Judd. Chris Judd is bom, bom, your first. Ah, see, I had, yeah. Correct. That's cheeky yes. from you. I think you were strategic in picking this game for that. You thought my first guess was going to be <laughs> was going to be Christopher, didn't you? Uh, unlucky. Does that give you a bit more confidence now that there's some red on the board? I needed to see it. I'd honestly, if you just kept going to the end, I'd be very, very nervous because that's going to, that's going to, does this completely throw you now that you've seen the red? Are you panicking? That's what bit. I'm hoping for. A you start to bit. name that's guys right. that retired it, in the right. 90s. Yeah, exactly. Um, oh, it's, yeah, th- I can't picture anyone else. So, again, this guy played the next week. Oh, sure. Do I say it? Robbie Warnock. Starting ruck, mate. Easy. Oh, thank God. Absolutely. Yeah, because it just, yeah, it's hard to remember the injuries, you know? 11 years ago, mate. It's a different time. All right. Give me Lockie Henderson. Lockie Henderson in the back pocket. Big back pocket. Strong guess. Strong, strong guess. Okay. This is where he goes. This is where he goes. He disappears. Yeah, I know. I've Okay, what about Cade Simpson? Yeah, I, I, I was oh. surprised that wasn't one that was spoken about earlier. Of course, Simo is in this team. 
It's, it's just because I can't remember notable parts of that game from him, um, which I'm I'm running out of guys mm. that did that. Like there's guy, I, I'm just going to put Nate. Oh, no. Can you I can, say names look, without locking them in? I was going to mention this. You can definitely brainstorm. Take me through I your decision-making process, but you will have to definitely lock in the name at some stage. Of course. Like some of the guys, I know Troy Menzel was around this year, number two. I don't know if he would have been actually getting a game, though. Michael Jamison, fullback. Uh, let's let's go Michael Jamison. As I live and, live breathe, and breathe is the fullback. And see, this is another one that I just, I'm worried that he was injured, but I'm just going to do it because it just is a sensible guess. Cruiser. Forward pocket, surprisingly. Gee, he's done it again. See, Moldhouse is playing around with this, this team sheet here, isn't he? This is far too. This is going far too well for you. I am so. I'm really glad now. to hear that. I'm really glad to hear that. Um, okay, so we're definitely looking for some mids. A couple of other forwards. Interesting. So I, as I said, Menzel. Number. I can't think who was number nine in this team. This is the year before Cripps and Doc, I believe. So it wouldn't Maybe. be them. Who are the other Tom Bell like characters? Mm. This is where it gets does get a bit tougher. I feel like you have nailed this sort of okay, the that's main players. So this will be interesting. I'm ha- I'm happy to hear that. Um, would agree. Who knows? Am I lying? Maybe you're lying just to mm. make me feel better for some reason. Trying to think, do we have a number fifteen at this point? He's going to jump in numbers. Well. I like the strategy. Yeah. Okay. Like, what about? I can't remember him this in this game, but Chris Yaron. Yeah, he's on the wing. He's on the other wing. Yeah. See, you're doing well here to still get these little guesses out. <laughs> and no, incorrect. Those listening that may have missed Lockie currently on an absolute hot streak. He has only got one incorrect guess so far in Chris Judd. <laughs> And about 15 correct guesses. All right. I don't know why this guy, I, I feel like this guy well could have retired, but I'm just going to go with the gut and say David Ellard. Was he done? Get stuffed. Get stuffed. Oh! Get absolutely oh! stuffed. That's oh, good. I'm not going to have a chance here. You're going to guess the whole team. I feel like I'm, I'm redeeming myself here. Yeah, I'm going to get the big Al. All right. I'm going to. Again, I, this guy could have retired in 2006 for all I remember. Paul Bauer? Oh, thank God. I needed another incorrect guess. Damn he it. definitely did not play. Was he done? Play. Uh, he, reckon- he, oh, he, I honestly, I don't believe he was on the list, but he definitely yeah, okay. was not playing in this game. A bit late for Paul. I think okay. he just... I got a lock in here. I got might have been here. delisted. I got a lock in so obviously Nick Digan was around, but I don't think he played this week because Maybe that not. was part of you know mm. him getting called up the next week. Um, One more incorrect and Lockie is done. Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to like I said, Menzel. Yeah, I could. I could see Menzel being in there. I feel like I've got pretty much all the jumper numbers. In the single digits. Like I said, I can't remember number 16. nine. 16 currently out of 22. I think is a really good. I'm really happy. Good yeah, that's benchmark. That's good. I'm I'm satisfied if I do get my loss here. Mm. Um, number 14. That's another number we're missing. Can't think. Oh, I can think. Mm. Was Brock McLean 14? I'm not locking that guess in, but I think. See, potentially. <laughs> was he also, I feel like Lovely. seven or is that completely yeah. bullshit? Is that wrong? I don't know. I, it's real. I don't I have know. many core memories Rock of Brock McLean, McLean, but he pops, he pops into my head. Just because we, we need to get this correct regardless. Yeah, Let's I appreciate find that. This out. Big shout out to Blue Zeum because they have been unbelievable. And if anyone's been oh, paying yeah. attention to our socials at the moment on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook, we've been chucking out the daily countdown until our first mm-hmm. ever game. And 
they have been incredible in being able to list. It's basically the greatest encyclopedia ever, um, bluezium.org. It gives me every single player that's ever played in every jumper number, how many games, a blurb on everyone. And you'll never guess, Lockie, not only were you correct in him wearing number 14 from 2011 to a certain year, who knows? I'm not going to give that away. <laughs> but in 2010, he wore the number seven. So we're both right. Maybe Are you so. serious? Imagine changing I, numbers. He was number seven at Carlton. And we, apparently, and then went to 14. I don't know why. Interesting. That is so weird. Yeah. And I definitely cannot think who number, like, I think Bentick was, no, Bentick wasn't number seven, was he? Why do I th think that in my head? Anyway. He was 40, and I do think he went down to a, a number like that. God, this is going into the deep recesses of my brain here. Okay. Armfield. Oh. He's in. He's Dennis. in, Lockie. He's oh. in. God, this is stressful. <laughs> I, I cannot remember him in this game, but yeah. It's almost about, yeah, just trying to see who is playing in this era. Yeah. Gee, he's moved I know. to tally to 17. One yeah. false move away. Menzel keeps jumping out at me, but I just don't see us playing mm. him with Betts and Garlet. I don't know. Like, was that a thing that we were doing? Um, oh, my God. Some of the most rogue names are coming into my head. Why am I thinking about Jordan Bannister? He retired in, like, 2000. It's a good one. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. You got any more plugs for us? Full forward is open. Full forward is open. Half forward is open. In the guts is open. In the guts. Uh, Who was in the guts back. with Eddie Betts? And also the last bench spot. Um, I will I will say one thing to potentially make this a little bit easier for you. Just I feel like this wow. brings clarity, um, which I, I would okay. not want to win in a wrong way. From my very lacking little research in this game, there was only three on the bench, and the fourth bench player was a sub. Yeah, okay. Just to okay. let you know. I appreciate that. Um, and you that have not named the sub nothing. yet. <sighs> yeah. No, I'm, I, I, do, I have very little faith in this, but I'm going to say Troy Mental. Oh, he's there. He's there, Lockie. Yes. That's an incredible get. I did not think you would ever in my wildest imagination think you would get Troy Menzel. He's a guy that like I picture him playing mm. like a hundred games for us, and I'm sure he just didn't. Like I he have not. such vivid memories of of him, but wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm, actually so, I'm actually so happy with how this is going. Play. Now, Dill Buckley. This was his first season, but I don't even know if he debuted in 2013, but he was, I'm pretty sure he was on the list. So he's a guy. Oh, he was number seven. That's the number mm. seven. <sighs> Any others that we're missing here? Are you missing I'm four? sure people are seven. absolutely yelling. Oh, and that's what I want. That's what I'm scared about in my next turn. Right now. I'm sure they are. Um, yeah, wow. That full forward spot is just glaring at me. Mm. It's not Fev. He was well, well gone by this stage. I can't think of any other tools. Yeah, so it's like Digan, Dill Buckley, number 20, number 21. Bootsma? Was this a Bootsma year? Can't Could remember. Be. Yeah. Look, I don't want to spend too much time, so I'm just going to – I don't think it was him. But give me Nick Digan. He was the sub, Lockie. <laughs> he was the sub. This is clutch. And not only Three was left. he the sub this week, but he ate a sub ah. the bloody week after. And oh, <laughs> historical, historical. Oh, Who would have thought? The man that was probably the downfall of my team last week. Oh. People were saying that name and they were like, absolutely not Lockie's team. Uh, gee, I'll tell <laughs> you what, I'm going to go out in... Straight sets here. I'm going to get named three incorrect answers and be done in the first minute. And we're going to have to film again. <laughs> <laughs> we just both mine. That was the game all along. Just lucky guessing. 
a midfielder, full forward, centre half back. I feel like Brett Thornton was done by this stage. I don't think he was one of the centre half backs. Why do I think Paul Bauer? I've, <laughs> I'm going to guess Paul Bauer. If you Bauer want to name again. him again, <laughs> if you want to use him again, I may allow it. I think. I that's think you're wrong. There. No. Um, oh wow, this mm. is testing everything. Oh my god. Oh no, revelation. Ed Kerno. Are you locking that in? Yeah, it's wrong, but sure, I have to lock it in. I said it like that. <laughs> He's, in the team. He's in the team. Oh, how could I sucks. forget? This absolutely sucks. <laughs> why did I? Why this did is I go? Such great for redemption. <laughs> Oh, this, this is, is going to be embarrassing. Two more to go. I'm, I feel like whoever's at full forward is not a full forward. Um, unless it's like Sean Hampson. Was he? I can't think if he was around at this time. That would be so weird if we we're playing Warnock, Cruiser, and Hampson. Mm. But this was a weird, weird team. Center half back. Jamison, Henderson. And another tall. Is it another tall? Yeah, I guess it might not be. Who was on Charlie Dixon this day? Who was on? Was he there then? No, he wasn't there then. He was on the Gold Coast, if he even if he even played yet. Was uh, was then? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, as I said, I don't want to mull over it. So I'll I'll lock in. Uh, He's not confident. Yeah, I'm going to go Sean Hampson. And Lockie, this has been an incredible run <laughs> so far. A good run. And it, and it will not continue. Unfortunately, Sean Hampson yeah. was not there. I don't even know um, if he was on the list then. What I want to give you, this obviously doesn't count, but in this game you were obviously really trying to think carefully and smartly about these answers. You didn't want to throw anyone wacky out. <laughs> was there anyone that you were really thinking was in this team, but you thought you'd maybe be called a, a massive yes. idiot in this? Yes. You can maybe take a stab at right now that it doesn't count. Andrew McInnes. Yeah, he was the center half back. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely didn't know if that was a real name. Oh, yeah, he existed. As I said it right he then, existed. I'm like, was it Andrew? Oh. And then, okay, so him and then uh, literally the full forward. Is was Dill Buckley? Uh, it was not. It was. It was actually Levi Casbolt, out of all people. Oh my! That is okay. He that is, was that's a disrespectful. still well and truly in the team. And gee, this. Oh, yeah, I am bad. so nervous now because this means I have to at least, at least get twenty <laughs> players to tie this. And I I don't know what game you've picked for me. I don't know what year. I know nothing. And I'm shitting myself. I'm absolutely well, shitting myself here. I, like, I don't know the strategy of this because this is our first time. I, mm. I mean, because I want this to be competitive. I'm hoping the fact that we've just done this is going to mean a lot of these mm. guys are fresh. Because mm. I have gone a year that is a bit before this time. And I'm, you know what? I'm feeling so confident and good about my performances. Then I'm, I'm happy for you. If you're not happy with this year, Ooh. I can, I can shuffle it. Oh, I'm I've getting also a, I'm getting a sympathy option here. Uh, yeah, because I, I want this to be competitive, even though I think you're going to do very well. I actually haven't gone a win either. Oh no! What? But it's funny I'm that not. you chose the last game of the home and away season because I too chose the last game of the season when there were two players trying to kick 100 oh, no. snags. Oh, no. This I'm is Carlton two versus Hawthorne oh. round 22. One team with absolutely nothing what to play for except for a bloke trying to kick 100 goals and one team that went on to win the flag. Oh, no. And what year was this? Sorry. This is 2008. 2008. As I said. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you if you want to use a veto. And mm. I, because, you know, I'm just feeling so confident about my performance. Jeez. Look, the only, the only caveat I will put on this right now, and I'll put my hand up. I never saw this game happen. 
I was dragged through a family event (laughs) and I was listening on like my little handheld radio back in the day, listening to what was going on. So I genuinely have no recollection apart from Big Favola (laughs) in this game as far as who actually played. So it would be me just guessing the actual list, which look. We can't have that. We can't have that. But I feel bad making you change it. I feel like I'm being a little baby. And that we I can just do need a little, to go for this regardless. We can do a little cut in the video to for me to get the other team because I have a bunch of other options. I, it has to be a game that you've seen. You've picked one of the most iconic. Mm. I mean, I, mm. this is an iconic game. Um, not for the right reasons for us. Mm. But I have some other iconic options if you'd like us to do a quick cut. Okay. Well, let's not cut. Let's keep it rolling. Let's let the admin right. be part of the episode. We're not professional we like that. in any sense of the word. Well, I'm not. Um, you definitely are. Le- I mean, just throw out another game. And then I guess I'll just go with that because I feel bad potentially even changing this as is. Interesting. Okay. How about this for an option? Do you remember when we won two games in 2018? I do remember them. Do you remember our two wins? We beat Essendon. That is the game I have chosen. That's the game. Oh, what? Oh, this is okay. I don't mind this. What round are we going? I'll I'll have a I'll it's, have a crack. I think this could be round potentially eight. Round eight versus Essendon. This it could potentially first be harder. Win of the season. This could be for hard sure. because we had so many list changes, whereas at least I reckon 2008 was mm-hmm. stable. And I reckon we go back to this. We need another episode <laughs> of this. I'll try and have a go without ever seeing that game uh, being played. I reckon I can do it. But, yeah, okay, geez. I'm just going to find the wow. field. Yeah, look, the, uh, I'm not going to lie to you. There, there's some niche names here, but mm. you do have the, the benefit of, you mm. know, a bit of recency. 2018. Okay. This will be. I mean, do you, want, do you want me to give Don't you a third option running. to choose between the three? No, let's go this. Let's go this. I will go this. You, you can tell me what this. game it would have been, but I will lock this in, Lockie. All right. Let me. Like I said, I'm just going to grab the team view so I can see the positions. It's going to be tough. Who was drafted yet and who wasn't? The other option I was going to give you is. Um, I don't know if you remember this as being um, an iconic game. Uh, it was when we defeated Collingwood in 2016. And was Daisy this Thomas. Is- Daisy Thomas? Yeah, the little seller mm-hmm. candy. I Yeah, probably good we don't choose that one. I was quite intoxicated at that game of football. <laughs> uh, and I remember Daisy Thomas played, and that is about it. So I'm happy with 2018. Oh, who, yeah, play, who was even on the up. list? Who was on the list? Okay, this is going to be very, very tricky. Um, oh, okay, okay. Where do we start off with? Where do I start? This is because I could absolutely blunder this very, very quickly. Twenty eighteen. <laughs> See, I wanted to go in the ruck immediately, and then I'm all I'm thinking is. I'm thinking Cruiser, but surely there's a good chance this man was injured and just doesn't exist. So I'm not sure that's the greatest first guess. So I don't know if I can trust Matty Cruiser's <laughs> health. So I'm going to guess, please, surely Mark Murphy played in this game. <laughs> no, don't. He didn't. He didn't play? He. Why can't I see his name? Oh, no. I've, I've, I've stuffed up immediately. I remember him playing. Didn't he kick that goal on the I boundary swear. line? I swear. I swear he Or is that a different game? Surely Mark Murphy played. What is oh, going this on is, here? This is going to be, what have you done, Lockie? What have you done to me? There's just Control, no way. Control F, Mark Murphy. I'm, Where is he? I'm pressing everything. I'm oh, pressing no. everything. I've made a blunder. He wasn't playing. Oh, <laughs> What? Oh, this is, Hang this on. Is we not... need to go back to the history books. Hey, what? you're the one who was in charge of finding this team. So all I know is I've got the first answer wrong. No, no, Mark no. Mark Murphy. Mark Murphy, Essendon You're telling goal. me he didn't play. Have I You're completely mixed up my... That was 2017, that oh, goal. No. Oh, no. 
this. Okay, is I need. Okay, hilarious. Oh, I'm in danger. Oh, I'm in danger. Uh, <laughs> Cade Simpson. Cade Simpson. Please. Cade Simpson. He's on Where the is he? Team. Where Half is he? Halfback. Which side? <laughs> oh, right side. Okay, Cade Simpson. Oh God. One from two. That's okay. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. Oh my goodness. Um. I've got a, I've got what? a alt for the next time we play this game. Gee, this is throwing me. Yeah, we have a wheel, and the wheel picks a year, and then yes. the other person picks a game from that year. Yeah, I rate that because I'm feeling that. bad about how dominant this is about to be. Yeah, I'm in a lot of danger. Uh, okay, rogue, but Sam Petrovsky Seaton with my third pick, left forward pocket, excellent yes. pick. Yes. I mean, My this man. is an iconic game, mate. We won two games in this season. There's only yeah. two games that you should remember mm. from this entire year. Yeah, and Murphy wasn't playing, which has absolutely thrown me. Uh, let's, 2018, give me Charlie Kerno. Full forward. Okay, let's let's round out this forward. Okay, you're I cooking reckon, now. I reckon we're onto something until I immediately snag. Um, uh Look, I'm going to make this mistake at some stage, so let's put the pressure on. Matty Cruiser. Ruck. Oh, thank God. Well played. If you, if you said Healthy no, I would, have, I would have cried. Um, I'm just trying to think who was actually You're doing well now. You're on a good run. Around here. Who was still in this team? It's a very interesting team. <sighs> yeah, gee. Uh, defenders. Defenders. Obviously, Jacob Weedering. Yeah, Jacob Weedering doesn't miss a game. Missed the game. Didn't play? <laughs> Did not play. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> oh, this is grim. You were so smug talking about that bloody performance from last week. No, this I'm is in, I'm in so much danger. This is terrible. Um, give me Harry Mackay. Centre half forward. Age, I mean, so with, obviously, with oh, yeah. Weedering not playing, who who else would be in that position? I oh, I cannot think of anyone currently. I'm rattled. Uh, if <laughs> that isn't obvious <laughs> for what the viewers <laughs> and the listeners, I'm sweating. Um, I'm this, is, this is this is tough. Like, this is See, because now I'm shitting myself just because there's so many players I want to talk about in, right yep. now, and talk I just assume thoughts. all of them are not there. I'm thinking, like, I could list you, like, 12 players, and I know whichever one I select is the dickhead that's not there, basically. <laughs> like, like, I'll just rattle through some names. Like, I'm, I'm not it. locking them in, but, you know, a Daisy yep. Thomas, he could be someone that's out there. And Ed Kerno, is he someone that's on the board? Like, these kind of guys. I'm like, I'm just, I'm just thinking, mm-hmm. they're not playing. They're not playing. Sure. Uh, 2018, we were bad. We were bad. Oh, sorry. Um, and you look okay. at this team and you're like, and it was okay. Was it you reckon? Bad? Well, it, okay. it's, it, you, you think about these guys so fondly when you look back, it's like that guy was okay. Wasn't he? But he wasn't. I'm going to go rogue immediately. Give me the, I could you're going to go rogue. Imme- I'm going rogue. I'm going rogue. <laughs> Sweet um, for the fences, my friend. Give me Sam Carriage. <laughs> Mate, just like Eddie Betts was in the midfield, Sam Carriage in that goddamn midfield as a as the rover. Oh, perfect. Okay, that has given me some sort of happiness. Um, tempted to go his his mate here, Nick Graham, but he was so in and out of this team. That's tough to know. Ed Kerno, surely, if Murph wasn't playing, get hope. Who would hope? Uh, who else was even existing? In this time, <laughs> Zach Fisher, I think just because this was the year before Sam Walsh, so we had to. Oh, oh, that's oh, that's worried me. That's worried me. I hate that the thought that came into my head was Liam Jones, and now I'm panicking that he was not out there. Uh, who else was a defender that we even had on this list? Hmm. I, I, yeah. No, nah, I'm back backing myself in. Nick Graham. 
half forward, right half forward. Oh, Very nice. Okay, okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm going like, so broke. <laughs> I feel like there's so many more obvious guys than Nick Graham. There probably is. I can't think of him. I cannot think no, of you're any doing well. player you're doing currently well. in the team. Okay. Uh, Talking through them is is, is work. Oh, oh, there's oh no, he definitely did his ACL. No, Sam Doherty's not in this team. He's done his ACL. Um, don't even think about it. Don't do it. Uh, oh my god, <laughs> Patrick Cripps, center. Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I actually doing here? Skip. Oh, I've almost got to start to write down players that are currently in our bloody team. Uh, that's almost what I need to be doing here. Trying to think of who existed <sighs> through this time period. It, through this time period, I've got no idea. I've got no idea. Hmm. I'm going to need you to fill time while I'm thinking. I'm, I'm, yeah. Well, I was just going to say, rattled. I kind of want. I kind of want to give you somewhat of a hint. Just nah, don't give me hints. Don't give me. You hints. don't want the hints. I okay. Hints. Cool. I don't need hints. I was just going to go. I'm just going to. I'm just going to write down. I said. I don't know what I said. I'm. I've lost the plot, Lucky. I'll be honest. I'm just going to write down players just so I don't no, forget no. anyone. So I have I no idea say, who exists. I'm impressed. Here. I'm impressed. You've you've come back well. I think from obviously missing Murphy to start off with. You, you're on a good mm-hmm. role. Like if I, if I'm looking at this team right now, as in your screen, yeah, backline is wide open. You're oh, gonna, I got. I don't know who played there. You got to have some <laughs> key tools, obviously, back there. You think so? Um, you know, some notable, some notable guys. Um, yeah. I have faith in you. I, if if I'm being completely honest, mm-hmm. as as good friends we are, I would I'd be happy to bet you a hundred dollars. You're not going to beat my score based on yeah, a couple of the names no that are here. But I, I do feel like you could get close. I do have faith in you, and because mm. you're talking it through, and the yeah. logic is all you. I'm hearing good things. Yeah, it's those two incorrect ones that are throwing me. Uh, it's true. But with that said, with that said, oh, this has got a Liam Jones. Center half back. Oh, well thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Here we go. We're, we're slowly clawing this back. I tell you what, if I you win really from are. here or draw it, this is the greatest of oh, all time sitting I on these two. I am incredibly impressed. Oh, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Some of these I can't names even... I have not thought about since 2018. <sighs> I'm telling you right now, I can't even think who currently plays for Carlton, let alone who would have still been on the list. <laughs> I'm not joking. I just tried to do like our best 22 now and I'm flustered. Um, Does so the number system work for you like it did for me? Like, Oh, oh, that's actually, that's immediately made me think of a player that does exist in Jack Silvani. Not selecting him, not selecting him. Okay. I just want to make that very <laughs> obvious. Um, yes. But I'm aware that he does. Ex- oh, okay. He does I'm going, well. I'm going to throw two in here straight away. I don't wow. even need you to stop me because I know they're both playing. Paddy Dow and Lockie O'Brien. Well done. Paddy oh. Dow, the other <laughs> midfield slot. O'Brien, interchange. Oh, I was so worried. <laughs> I went too big. Chuck oh, Lockie O'Brien okay. on the interchange, mate. I don't want that messing oh, with you. not even starting. Okay. I think he was starting on that wing. No, he's, I, I, he's like That was one of the things I wanted to say. Like We always talk about how mm. you know these young guys, we, we had to give them too much time too soon. Yeah. So I'm glad that you got them. Okay, I've You're got a lot of. This back. I've got a lot of names. I'm just shitting myself in what order to to let them out into this team. And oh, this is the thing as well. There's got to be some. No offense to these footballers. Some really, <laughs> really bottom of the barrel players uh, that play. There's a couple guys that you do game. like to mention when yeah, you talk about. Yeah, there's got to be. Yeah. It's 2018. We played really poorly. They have to be in here somewhere. I am going to say that. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to run through your list for the listeners so that they can? I will know, let you know the play. list of players I've currently got written down. Uh, I've got Ed Kerno, know. Daisy Thomas, Zach Fisher, Levi Casbolt, Maddie Wright, Silvani, and Kennedy. They are my list. There's a good chance mm-hmm. they're all in, or one of them is not, and that's the one I'll pick next. Um. Gee, I'm going young here. Let's go Zach Fisher. Mm-hmm. Good pick. Left half forward. Well done. Wow. I did not expect that. I did not expect That's Fish good. to be. See, so you're, you're clawing it back. I'm getting Hey, it. this is... The back line worries me. I cannot think of anyone that existed in that back line. 
at all. I, I'm I'm not uh. kidding because I know Doherty did not play this season, so he would have been my nailed on. Apart from that, Daisy Thomas, right back pocket. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well right. done. Go well, with second guess yourself, Ian. These guys definitely must have played here. Um, I mean, we had to get the win, so someone had. Yeah, to play. someone had to play. Gee, another forward, some wingers, which mm-hmm. definitely is very, very worrying. Uh, it's going to be a lot of average footballers. Another key defender is throwing me. He's really throwing me. Who would have been around 2018 that wasn't those two? Who was our depth? I so rarely think about this man, my lord. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Uh, Lockie Plowman. Left back pocket. <sighs> yes. Of course he was. The plow. The plow. Of these oh, teams. I'm winning. I'm winning this. Oh, this I can't is, lose. <laughs> you've done better than I next thought you would after you got the two reds. Yeah, next guess is really going to be scary. I really want to say Matty Wright, but I'm not sure. Like, that's the one where. I know we just got rid of him one year. He was so good. Yeah. This could have been the year he was our leading goal kicker. I, was I don't say, know. What year was that? I don't yeah. know. It was probably this one. I'm really bad with my dates. Um, it's a good game gee. for someone that's bad with their dates. Yeah, it's great. Uh, gee, I've got Ed Perno <laughs> here. Casbolt worries me just because we've already got two key forwards in here. Mm-hmm. Um, McGovern didn't come over yet. He was definitely year after. Uh, mm-hmm. Matty right in the forward line. JSOS exist. Matty Kennedy was he even in this team? Oh, who was here? Gee, was Mickey Gibbons even here yet? I don't even know. <laughs> um, shout out to Mickey Gibbons. Yeah. Uh, give me Ed Kerno as my safest potential option that's going to kick me out of this game. Right wing, Ed Kerno. Oh, wow. Oh, well, right wing. Uh-oh. <laughs> you starting to get excited? No, I'm not. I am running out of players that existed. Jeez. Uh, You've redeemed Half yourself back. really well. Yeah. I need another One, two, three, four, five, midfielder. Six, seven, I need a forward. I've, I've got a lot to, to try and get this back. Seven to go. Is that right? That's, that's very reasonable. One, two, three, four, four, six. That's to get the full team. I just need, I think, five. That's true. That was five. what you. Five to tie. That's what your score was. Five, just okay, five guys. okay. 2018. We think about this game, mate. On the bottom. I have no I don't have a lot of oh. Come on. Was it this year? Was oh, I'm getting flashbacks, Lockie. But much like we got excited about Mark Murphy. There's a part of me that feels like the game I'm thinking of was the year after and potentially against Melbourne which is not good because this was 2018 in Essendon, not 2019 Melbourne. Um, <laughs> God, this is rogue. Sound reasoning. This is rogue. But I have a feeling this man starred and we all thought we had found a gem and he went on to never play a good game of football again. Oh, why am I doing this now? Oh, I shouldn't. Can I give you a second and, and read you the first uh, <laughs> mini paragraph of the match preview? Yeah. It must be a frustrating time to be a Carlton supporter. They've heard the same message for a number of years. The side is in a rebuild, but you're eventually going to come out of it. And Mm. boy, did we. Yeah, that's big. What a time this Um, is. It's in my head. It's in my head. He might not have even got to the club yet. Darcy Lang. Wow, Ian Brownie, left wing, Darcy. Left Lang. wing. I reckon he kicked like three <laughs> goals this game. I can, you need to get the stats up. Did he Darcy kick some snags? Lang. Let me have a look for you. Jay. I feel like my only memories of this game was I reckon Carriage kicked a kicked a goal, and I reckon Lane kicked like two or three. Mate, it is oh, all thought, coming back. Oh, I've thought of some he, players. He kicked two. He kicked two. Oh, give me. He had to have played. He was so I think bad. you know who you say. Go ahead. Garlet. The other <laughs> bad Garlet. This is going to be an all-time comeback. Is he there? Right forward pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not the guy I thought you were going to say either. Was his, is it 
Was it Jared Garland? <laughs> yep. Jared oh, Garland. Jeez. I'm oh, scared. No. <laughs> We've done really well here. I'm so stressed. I'm getting stressed now for the first time. Okay, I'm so stressed. So I need how many players to? T- I need three to tie. Oh no, that's pretty crazy. Oh I can't no, you've done this. no, this is no. A big <laughs> okay, so on my list, current players that I know existed on the list, but I'm uh-huh. not sure if they played. Casbolt, Wright, Silvani, Kennedy, Cunningham. I'm not thinking Cunningham. I don't want to touch Casbolt. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, let's think this through. Let's think this through. I've got a key defender and I've got a halfback. I need a defender there because there is yep. there are currently no defenders. Even on the other players, none of them would have played in defense. So who on earth played in defense in 2018? Who replaced Doc? Who's a, who's a key defender? Who's a key defender? I can't believe you've come back this much. This is oh, actually I don't wild. Know. I don't know. 2018. Oh, no. Well, oh. If you oh, win this, I... we're gonna have to watch this game back. I think we because... might need to do a live live watch along. Yeah, watching seriously. this game back. Uh oh god. Oh, do you want to know a little fact? This was actually yeah, Darcy Lang's debut. Really? Jeez, I, I knew there was something about getting excited two about on this debut. Yeah. Okay. I almost god, just want to write been... down. Imagine if you had a podcast back in this day <laughs> talking about Darcy, Darcy Lang for the Lang's Brown though. Oh no. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, Key defenders. Wow. Let's try. I'm just gonna talk for a Do minute. It. None of this is is on the record. It is a podcast. So Jamison was well and truly done. We moved on from him. We had Plowman. There was a bit of Simon White through this era. There was an Alex Silvani for a season. Who who else was a key defender? Lockie Henderson. He disappeared. Uh, we moved Liam Dash. Jones back there. Who else? There has to be someone else. There has to be someone like Simon White that existed. I don't know. That's going to throw me. Uh, Adam Sard got... was on the opposition, if that helps. Yeah. And then Fantasia I've got... was injured, weirdly. Well, would not have expected that. Three bench spots is very worrying because that could genuinely be mm-hmm. anyone. I was really hoping like a Garlet or a Fisher would have been on my bench. That way I could really think about who could be out there? Uh, I'm trying to think two of niche very, players now. I've got to think of niche players. I was going to say two two very gettable guys on the interchange. One guy that I just there's I just don't see you saying that name. But two guys on that bench that I think are are definitely gettable. Hmm. hmm. I'm definitely struggling, but I'm proud of myself because that that Murphy oh, proud of you first guess, Weedering fifth yeah. guess. As my two outs to get back to this stage, um, I've just got to think of players. Definitely. I've just got to think because 20, 2018 was that year that I think a lot of Carlton supporters really we didn't give up, but it was just it was so hard to yeah. watch where you just maybe weren't 100%. as emotionally invested in anything that was going on. So my my memories, I feel like I've repressed a lot. Um, and at this very late in this very episode relatable. to mention this, but if you are watching this, listening to this, <laughs> oh wherever you are. <laughs> And let us know. Us, with, old. Let us know with Lockie, please. If when you were guessing along with him, let us know how you went. Did you get everyone? And be honest, how many incorrect guesses did you get? How quickly did you go out? I'd love to see you guys play along with this. Let us know in the comments below. If you're watching on YouTube, head over to at Navy Blue Corner on the socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you interact with us, and let us know. Particularly for this, who are you screaming out while Ian can't decide? Who played in this game? I want you to let us know that player that neither of us could say that you were like, you're an idiot. He was clearly playing there this game. Um, If it helps, Kobe Much and Ben McNeese were playing for Essendon. That's great to know. I'm glad you gave that to me. Okay, so this is the era. This is is your Matty Wright era of Carlton. Um. Oh, oh, oh he, he so would have played. Oh, do I go out like this? You know what? The halfback has hurt me without Doherty. And uh, maybe he did play. Maybe I've got my years wrong. But I'm going to go out with a bit of fun. Please tell me. 
Aaron Mullet played this game. <laughs> The game lives on. Aaron <laughs> Mullet. Oh, you're kidding. You're kidding. The best how is- many games? Took- Let me see how many games Aaron Mullet played. Because- it took me so long to guess Paddy Cripps and look at the other players that are like in. There is someone I'm missing out on that is just such an obvious player right now that I have just whiffed on. 13 oh, this is games. Stupid. This was the only win that Aaron Mullet played in for Carlton. Isn't One of the sad? greats. One of the greats. Okay, there has I to be cannot, a key position player. But that's like, he would have been know. the player that I would have said is second least likely for you to get. So that is mm. unbelievably good. Okay. I'm trying to think about He's a really real bad 2018 graphics. kind of player. Tom Williamson, not yet. Uh oh, Cam Paulson, maybe. Cam Paulson, maybe. So you need two to tie, three to win. Far out. Two to tie, one to win, three to win. Um Fire out. Fullback oh is God, killing this... me. Bench player, bench player. I really want to guess Batty right, but did he play? See, my, what I'm thinking right now is Matty Wright, Kennedy, and Silvani are the three I'm really <laughs> mulling over. I have a Mullet feeling. Over, if you will. I, exactly. I have a feeling that two of those played and one of them didn't. I don't want any. I don't want you to tell me, obviously. Um, oh, man, I wish I made you do 2008 now. This is this is fucked me over. <laughs> oh, this I'm not giving incredible. you any more hints. Um, um, I'm, I'm oh, off so I definitely feel like the forward line is lacking and the midfield oh. weirdly stacked. I feel like there's Jared enough midfield because we've got we got carriage, we got Nikki Graham. I mean, who else? There, there was another one of those players, full back. Full back. Oh, Lockie. She's destroying yes, me. The shame. Alex Silvani. Paul Bowles well and truly moved on. Andrew yeah, McInnes. He played in 2013. Did, did not last very long. <laughs> Andrew Buddy McInnes. Uh, there was another player that was there for a bit. Surely we had someone that was there in this team. Oh, my God. Did we send anyone to any teams? Anyone get traded away? Oh, 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 Ooh. oh, no, did don't do it. Did Bryce Gibbs play this year? Was this his last year before he went away? Oh, no, what have I done? What have I done to myself? What have I done? Because he did get traded away. After two years of asking for trades, mm-hmm. he would have been there in 2016. Did he go in 2017 or 2018? Ah, that hurts. That hurts. And Matty Wright was our goal kicker. Andreas Everett was around and about. I have a feeling he was just past him. I feel like he was a 2016 kind of fella. Uh, Jason Tut, he was another guy that uh, may have been on the <laughs> That's list. That's a good name. Was it Matty Dick? Was he name. also someone that uh, was on the list around this time? Oh, I'm just going to start. Can now. I just name like, niche players? Oh, That's kind of what this whole back. thing is. I need a fullback. Caleb Marchbank, no. Christian. KJ, was he kicking about? I don't even know oh, you're playing a game well. for us. Uh, more GWS rejects, maybe. Full back, full back numbers. Let's one, two, three, four. Now I'm just listing numbers. This is great listening. I, I hope people are enjoying oh, me another, struggling over this. Another fact about this game, Essendon had seven more scoring shots as well. So That's good. Imagine if they just kicked straight and we had one win this season. One lowly win against the Suns. Mm. God, what a mm. time. Hmm. Oh. <sighs> Ooh. Oh, was he – did he exist then? I think I may have figured out the fullback, which would be – oh, the fact that Weederen isn't playing makes me think that this man existed. I'm worried we already delisted him on 99 games. I think he was on 99. Give, oh. 
Sam Rowe. Ian, I'm sorry, but the Not game there. does live on. You have somehow <sighs> almost. I'm almost combat. cried. I'll be honest. I've almost cried there. Sam Rowe. He's the name that oh, I no. just have not thought about Sam Rowe in oh. what seems like a lot more than six years. You are one away from the tie. <laughs> and all we have is the lowly interchange bench. See, this is where I feel like Gibbs can't be there because there's no way we would have started Gibbs on the bench. Oh, surely not. Gibbs, Wright, Kennedy, Silvani. Oh, all I know is I think you've definitely earned the respect of some of the listeners because this is I. I there is no way I would have done anywhere near this for 2018. Oh. Aaron Mullet. Oh, I could have. I mean, I should have been out. There's some. I mean, I said Darcy Lang. I should be out. Ah, uh, oh no, no, no. Three interchange spots remain. I'm happy to go out this way and be one away from you. Um, and go out in glory. <laughs> Matt Wright. <sighs> Bench? Or is that you clapping yourself? I don't know which one it is, Lockie. <laughs> I don't know. Mate, of course, our leading goal kicker had to have oh, played. Matty Wright. Okay. I believe that was. Oh, the my show. God. I've tied it. I've so tied you have it. just. I need one more. I need one more. Oh, no. I'm stressing more than I ever have. This this is the greatest victory that's ever happened on this show. A victory? Let's what's, just simmer. What's, what do we do for tiebreak, Lockie? Do we have to do another one of these? Oh, no. We're going to have to do a part two if you don't get this. Literally. We're going to have to is, do a freaking part two. We're going to have to find another game. I reckon... Oh, yeah. I reckon I have to do that 08 game, and then I have to find... I, so I have to find something. Oh, no, no, you're not getting the 08 game. Dude. You're gonna get a. You can do 98. We'll spin. We'll spin the wheel for you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the was wheel. He, that's true. Was We're doing there. the wheel. We need more wheels he, in this show. I could be so incorrect, but I really do believe that Mitch McGovern came the next year, and I swear he came the same year we got we got rid of Gibbs, but that. I'm feeling like he we didn't play 2018. Surely we didn't. Surely we would have bottomed out because he left. Matt Kennedy still exists. Little Jackie Silvani exists in this team. Ooh, what does this team need? What does this team need? It needs a midfielder. So it's Kennedy or Gibbs. It's Kennedy or Gibbs. Oh, he so didn't even play for us this season. Bryce Gibbs. That's your third L mm. with Bryce Gibbs. Oh, I'm sorry no. to say. Not he didn't. He wasn't I'm sorry at all. Yeah. No, I think oh, does that mean last year. Does that mean Matt Kennedy did play? Matt Kennedy was injured and was not in this team. No. That makes me feel better because that would have been my next guess. So that well, that is great think, for me. I think it'll make you feel better that the two guys you did not name in this entire episode. Oh, who were the last two, Lockie? So, like I, Jack Silvani no. was an emergency. Mm. Um, Can I have a position? Right. Can you tell me a position for me to quickly try and guess this off the cuff? Oh, they're kind if of... If they have one or they're just floaters. Lit, one of them, I literally have no idea. The second, he played, I think... In his very short time, everywhere. Oh, wow. No, nah, who are they? Who are they, Lockie? Jed Lamb, kick two. Oh, Jed Lamb. Yeah, yeah, that's that's going to hurt me. And let me just see how many games this guy played before I say him. I should have said him because he. if I started actually thinking about other games playing around this time, that that game with, with Matty Cruiser, I think it was, he, he, he starred. What if I said the other guy played 11 games for us after six seasons at Port Adelaide? Oh, this is, I think this is the other bloke that's the the mullet man, Cam O'Shea. Cam O'Shea was yeah, the other. Cam O'Shea. Sports. There was always going to be another one of those bad players. Oh, wow. That is incredible. So 
Wow, we have <laughs> somehow tied. tied it. <laughs> We've tied, somehow tied. Oh, this is we could not script it better. So do we that both is... take do we cancel this out or are we both two and two? <laughs> yeah, no, we, this episode doesn't come out. We can't post this because we're tied. <laughs> no, no, no. We I one hundred percent endorse a part two wheel oh. decides the year. And oh, then this is the worst way. This game. is the this is the worst cliffhanger. After sitting through an hour of this, how anticlimactic to not get a winner. Out no, of this game, Lockie. Oh, see, we almost need to have to find a way to do a tie break if this happens again. I, know. I, I do not want to have to say, do a third one. Well, I've already told you the emergencies. That could have been what we did. Yeah. We could have gone, who can get the most emergencies? Mm. But it was Paulson, Sniv Phillips, oh, Silvani, man. and Matt Shaw. Matt, Matt Shaw. Matt Shaw. I, I, I knew Matt Shaw. What a man. <laughs> Gee, what a list we had. Well... I mean, let us know what you thought of this. Did you even enjoy the concept? Because I maybe it was didn't, terrible. Because I, I was loved it. it until I started having fun. So hopefully, if you enjoyed this, we'll run it back again because we need a match decider on this one. We can't leave this as an an empty empty vi- loss or victory for both of us. We need to decide this game. But oh, I'm I'm absolutely flabbergasted, lucky. But as I said, Great job, as mate. I said at the start of this show, we will be into our season preview next week. Very, very exciting. We're going to get into the proper content. Preview, Mm -hmm. predictions. We're going to be doing best 22. We're not going to have to worry about the 22 from 20 years ago. It's going to be the one that we think should be starting uh, with everyone fit. We've got plenty of content to come up. We'll be reviewing all the practice matches. If you want to get in quickly and early with any questions, with any topics you want us to cover, Drop them in the comments on YouTube. Head over to at Navy Blue Corner on any social media that you interact with us and drop us a line, drop us a DM. Let us know what you want us to cover as we lead up to opening round. Lockie, are there any last words that you want to say before we end this episode? Bring on part two, mate. I'm going to be coming in hot. Oh, it is going to be exciting. I can't wait. We need way more spin the wheel. We're going to have to find out a way to incorporate yeah, that wheels. weekly, to be honest. That gets me excited. But that is going to wrap this episode up. Let us know what you thought. How did you go playing along with this? Let us know down below. Links to everything are in the show notes. That's enough plugs from me. Season preview next week and maybe some fun news along the way. Up the bloody baggers. See you guys next time.